Hey there, it's Tanika O'Brien with Berkshire Hathaway Home Services, Beach Properties of Florida. Just wanting to kind of check in with everybody, see how um, that the new normal is treating you and um, kind of navigating this different way of life for now. Um, listen, I've gotten a lot of calls, text, emails of folks uh, checking in, seeing how things are going down here on 30A seeing how the market's going. Um, usually this is a time of year when we've got a lot of people in town and a lot of people looking at real estate. Um, and things are a little bit different now. Um, there's not a lot of people in town, um, but I will say there's still a lot of people looking at real estate and uh, folks are doing it online and reaching out and seeing videos and just kind of having a little bit of a new normal. So I thought what I would do is um, just put together some numbers to kind of show you what the real estate market's doing, kind of how things are moving around, and um, just kind of give you an idea, a snapshot of uh, how things are going here on 30A. So let me share my screen here. Um, I've put together some numbers to share with you here. Um, and basically what I've done is gone uh, week by week for the past five weeks, just to kind of give you an idea of how things are changing and um, just kind of what's going on here. Um, so this first column here um, is the total active properties. So this is um, the properties that are on the market now. Um, and we're comparing those to this week last year and um, just kind of showing the difference there. Um, not too much of a change here. None of these are really large numbers, the percentage differences between the two there, um, but something good to keep an eye on. Um, the next column here is uh, the new listings. This is new properties that are coming on the market within these different week timeframes. So you can see um, the first week that we analyzed, February 24th to the March 1st, um, not much of a change there. But as you can see, as the weeks have gone by, um, new listings, we're getting less and less listings. Um, you know, a lot of sellers um, in this market don't necessarily need to sell um, right now. Some of them are just waiting for a good opportunity to sell, a time when they can get a good price on the house. So um, a lot of people are holding tight right now because they know not a lot of folks are um, in town and looking. So I think that's what you're seeing uh, kind of reflected in those numbers there. Um, the probably one of the most important columns on this whole chart is uh, the properties under contract here. Um, and so what this will show you is week by week um, compared to last year, what the differences are. So of course, these first couple weeks, you know, 32% up, 32% uh, more homes on under contract that first week. Next week was kind of flat. Then you start seeing the under contracts kind of trickle down. Um, the last week that we looked at was actually last week. Um, and there were eight properties on 30A that were put under contract, um, which is down 72% compared to this week last year. This completely makes sense. There's fewer people out looking at properties. There's fewer people here. You know, everyone's being told to stay home, to stay safe. So, um, you know, this is to be expected. So it'll be interesting to continue watching in the coming weeks, kind of what this number does where are we going to bottom out and where are we going to start coming out of this and when are we going to start seeing those numbers start going the other direction um and then the last column here um are the homes closed so these are homes that are under contract and then um currently closed so as you can see here we've got good green numbers um the last couple weeks and then i think we're starting to kind of start seeing with the closings the effects of this virus and what's going on in the world today. So um, down about 65% this last week in terms of closings. So um, this will just be really important to kind of keep an eye on the market and I will continue to keep you updated there. Um, you know, this, this will really affect how buyers are making offers on properties, uh, just given this this information here and then also um, how sellers are setting their prices on their homes is it a seller that needs to sell right away you know then that's that's a good opportunity for a buyer possibly an investor looking to come in and get a good deal on a property so um, rest assured I'll keep it keep tabs on this and keep you updated and if there's anything I can do for you in the meantime please let me know 
I've been videoing a lot of properties for folks, going out, taking looks, taking a look at homes for people, and um, even getting a couple folks coming in town and uh, taking a look at some properties themselves whenever we catch a good deal. So uh, please, please feel free to reach out, call, text, email me anytime, and I'm here for you. Stay safe out there, and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.